hello welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you different types of divination tools that i use for my manifestation techniques if you want to find out more about this then keep on watching Using the law of attractions. If you liked me, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. So as you guys may already know from my many of previous videos, of course, crystals are definitely a divination tool must. Why I may tell you why I've said a billion times before and I'll say it again. Crystals raise your energy, they raise your vibration, they set your intention. All the feelings that you are putting into this crystal charges the crystal and amplifies your feelings into a bigger scale of things to attract towards you. As you can see, I wear rose quartz. This is for love, friendship, luck, protection calmness you know just staying calm and collected and focusing on your spiritual journey i like to surround myself with crystals to amplify the energy that i am trying to manifest into my life the next divination tool i use are candles now you may ask raiden why do you use candles as a divination tool well Candles are very powerful because they use fire. Fire is pure energy. Now, when we're trying to manifest something, you're using your energy, all of your energy into what you are trying to attract to yourself. So when you have candles that are around you, they provide you with extra energy. This is pure energy, along with my own. I take the energy from the fire and bring it to myself. I soak up all the energy from the fire and all the positive thoughts that I'm attaching this fire's energy to. I'm using a purple candle today because purple candles are for spiritual powers, the third eye, and to break habits. And we're in 2019, so we want to break bad habits. Each different candle color has a different meaning. I wrote down some of them. So white is used for peace, purity, healing, and innocence. Black is used for safety, protection, banishing negativity. Brown is for house blessings, pets, animals, and earth. Orange is for creativity, justice, joy, and ambition. Purple is for spiritual power, the third eye, breaking habits, as I said before. Yellow is the sun, intelligence, luxury, and memory. Pink is love, caring, friendship, and maturity. Green is growth, luck, plants, nature, and money. Uh, blue is protection, focus, forgiveness, and truth. And red is passion, strengthy, fire, and survival. So I just made this in my own book of shadows that I actually took tissue paper of green and pink and then glued it onto this book that was a sketchbook. And then I took uh, coffee beans and water and painted the tissue paper till it was brown and textured like this, then painted over it with Mod Podge and then sculpted this symbol 
um, out of clay because this is a very powerful symbol um, for manifestation and such. And in here I just have all the elements um, and how you can use the elements to your favor. If you want a more in-depth look into uh, this book that I made, go ahead and leave a comment. But we're going to just show you what it looks like for now. So I recommend a Book of Shadows for um, a divination tool. Uh, not only is journaling great for manifestation because you're writing down what you want to attract to you and how you want it to and scripting but uh, you get to also write down your experiences and what you found works for you and what you found doesn't work for you. Um, you get to write down um, observations that you've seen while manifesting um, what you're trying to receive in your life. Um, you can write down uh, information that you get from books. Uh, that's what I do. So that's where I got the candle meanings and stuff. I would go to the bookstore in the occult section and I will read on candles and stuff like that and other information and just write it down in my book of shadows. So I was finessing info if you know what I mean. But <laughs> you know that's how you gain knowledge. You read and then you write it down so you don't forget. I believe journal is a very important thing to have for manifesting powerful things. Another divination tool is incense or sage like I was burning before. We use incense or sage before a manifestation, during or after a manifestation just for clearing the air, making sure there is no negativity in the air, making sure that we have a nice beautiful clean workspace for our imagination, nice calm Mm, I love this smell. This is called Potpourri. Got it from Bodhi Tree, so shout out to Bodhi Tree. And these incense are literally mm, so good. The words that spill out of your mouth are spells, so be careful what you say. Ooh, I like that. That sounded very wise. Another divination tool I use are cards so these are my angel cards this is my angel oracle deck um this uh, this is my first set of cards i've ever bought they're very near and dear to me um the next set of cards that i have are actually my newest pickup these are the rider weight rider white uh tarot deck so these i don't know if you know or not are the first original og tarot cards so these have been around for a long time. My grandma even owned a set of these. But you use these for questions that you may have about uh, your outcome of what you may be doing or uh, a love in your life or luck or just any question you want. I find these extremely helpful because for me, I need signs to kind of wake up. So when I ask from my cards, you know, anything that I'm pondering, it just gives me signs of what the card I pick up says, and it all fits together of what the question I needed and wanted. These are the cards. No, you do not need tarot cards. No, you do not need oracle cards in order to manifest. But I just feel like they help me find out questions and answers and help enlighten me and feel more spiritually connected to the other side. And when I say the other side, I mean like my higher consciousness, um, the spiritual realm beyond this. I feel more connected because I'm asking a question that deep down I know and I subconsciously pick out of a deck and just happens to fit with exactly what I say um not a coincidence okay I'll pick a card out of my deck so let's go ahead and pick a card oh look at that 
Manifestation. Wow. Okay. Manifestation. All right, now I'm going to pick a tarot card. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So I drew the Knight of Pentacles and I drew the Manifestation card. And I have my crystal. So the Knight of Pentacles basically is saying that I'm achieving my goals right now and I've been attracting things. I'm going to be making a success story video soon, very soon, 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 soon. Just be patient. But I have been in the works of manifesting things and attracting things and it's coming to me and it's so exciting. So this is just saying that I need to stick to my goals because I am getting the pentacles. So as you see, the pentacle represents like a coin. Uh, coins have to do with wealth. Um, right now it's a, a knight riding on a horse, um, we see. Um, and so I am that knight right now. So I am that knight. I'm carrying my pentacle. I'm on my way to my goal to get more pentacles. Um, I'm manifesting, you see, I'm manifesting. And these just happen to just be the cards that I pick like for this video come on that can't be a coincidence like this is what I'm saying is I've been this video on what I should make this video about and it clearly told me that I need to speak about this about divination and about achieving your goals and manifestation and the law of attraction and using your inner power teaching you guys how to get exactly what you want with the power of your mind Everything happens for a reason. There are synchronicities in everything. So I'm on my way to achieving goals, so I just basically got to stay on the straight road of the horse. I got to keep going and pursuing my goals, and my manifestations are going to come true. Usually what I would do is, like I said, pick the cards, light the incense. I have my crystals. I got my candles. I already drew my energy from the fire. Okay. And my head is in a clear state. Have full trust in exactly what you're asking for, knowing that it is going to come true. I've come to a point in my spiritual journey where I don't even have doubt anymore. It feels like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. It's just perfect timing, eloquent, divine timing has been happening for me lately. And it's so awesome because I've been working on this for so long and to see it in the works is just so magical for me. So just go ahead and feel appreciative of all the things that you have accomplished, goals that you have set for yourself that you have surpassed. I made it a goal to be at least 100 subscribers. I am almost at 300 subscribers. I not only surpassed my goal, 200 more than what I originally stated that I wanted. When you tell the universe what you want, and you really put it out there, you put out your feelings, you put out your emotions, you will get what you asked for. All it takes is you to open up and trust that whatever you ask for is going to come to you. You cannot focus on the negativity. You cannot let little things ruin your entire day. You have to be grateful for the moments that are amazing. Hold on to those and look forward to them. Ignore the negativity and this will only bring you positivity and more awesomeness into your life. The secret is, is listening to your intuition and your gut. That's telling you what you need to go after, go after it. So you're gonna wanna go ahead, clear your space with your incense, grab your crystals to collect your energy, take the energy from the fire, Feel the love, feel the passion, feel the gratitude of what you already have, what you've manifested by yourself, what you've accomplished. Relish in that beautiful moment that you have created yourself and you are creating into your reality. What do you want? Do you want a better income? Do you want more attention? Do you want the love of your life to walk on into your life? Make it something that you refuse not to have.
and you will get it. Tell yourself you deserve it and receive it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you liked me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna see more cool videos like this, go ahead and hit that bell notification. That way you get notified right away when I drop videos straight on the tube. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Mwah.